vision for this wall is beautiful. It's going to be three of these shelves uh, staggered. One, two, and three. And if you also want all art, do you want all art? Then I will be putting up all this extraordinary children's art <laughs> um, in different frames. We have square, rectangle, small, large. I uh, was picking out some with white mats and white frames, but all of them with white frames on the white shelves against the white wall. So all everything that stands out will be the children's art. That's it. Interesting. When decorating with art in any space, whether it's home or work, um, let's say an office, um, the first thing to do is to understand what kind of energy you want to have in the room. Um, because when you use color, in decorating, you create different energies. Um, vibrant, soft, sophisticated, youthful. And so I would think about not a particular color, but just what kind of energy you want to have in the room. And then when you start to pick out art, you're going to know when you look at a piece of art if that's the energy you get from it. Then I would look around at all the wall space and start to decide how many pieces that you want and keep it very simple so each piece of art stands out. Even though you can gallery art, which means there's a lot of art, use a lot of uh, white frames, white mats um, to keep it very simple. And then, when it comes to picking out the art, um, framing is huge. Framing and matting can make the simplest little piece of art, say a child's watercolor or a postcard that somebody sent you from Europe that you just love and it means something to you. Once you mat it and frame it, it turns it into a beautiful piece of art to have. Incredible painting. It's just hard to decide which one's the best for the room. 